Hello, welcome, thanks for joining me for another shave video, well a partial shave video. Um, today I'm, I'm going to be using, uh, well actually this week, using shave creams. I'm in a uh, Facebook group and uh, they've decided to use creams this week. So cream I'm using today is St James of London. And it's the uh, Cedarwood and Clarisage. It's a very nice scent. It's not a strong scent. Almost a, a cologne scent. Let's put the lid down there. Comes in these nice glass jars. Look at that there. Uh, razor I'm going to be using today is the razor that I won on uh, Shave the Man uh, channel. I think it was his 100 subscriber giveaway. It's the uh, Gillette Super Speed, almost new condition, very nice condition. And the razor, razor blade I'm using today is the Nessa again. Stainless. It's a non-adjustable uh, twist to open razor. And this is the, uh, the box that came in. Again, very good condition. It uh, sits at the front of my uh, shave den. Very proud of that uh, razor. Uh, brush I'm going to use today is the uh, Samoog Owners Club Cherrywood Handle with the uh, finest or two band knot. It's about 22 24 mil. After shave I'm using is uh, Marks and Spencer's Wood Spice. It's the uh, burgundy version. Again, woody, spicy scent. And I'm just going to finish off with a Nivea Sensitive. This has also got um, witch hazel in it, so I can uh, do without the uh, the witch hazel today. And then I'll finish my beard off with the uh, Bart's Balms Beard Oil again. That's the uh, Amber and Moroccan Jasmine. Too busy Sunday to uh, sort of have a quick shave. So I've got uh, about four days. Well, I've got four days growth here. And what I do normally with the uh, creams, I just take a little bit and then apply it to the skin. Obviously, I'm using a natural hair brush. So you're going to need a little bit more than you would if you used a, a synthetic brush. I'll create the lard there and I can always then apply just above here and here where I normally shave. I've got 16 days of growth on my face. Let's see, so it's a little bit more coarser here, not coarser, but sort of more dense than here. I can still sort of see my skin through you know, these parts. Soak the brush for about five minutes and I just give it a, a nip, nip the water out and I'll give it a slight twist and it tends to uh, get a little bit more of the water out. You can do that or you can sort of shake it a couple of times. I hope you had a good weekend and a uh, good start to your week. Get 
some nice weather this week and I think later in the week they said we're going to get about 28 Celsius. Quite mild at work last night. See where we go with that. See on the see if maybe a little bit of a gloss. On the lard that's in the knot. You get that shine then you know you've got uh, enough water in the lather. So I'm sort of halfway through growing the beard now. Every day is sort of a little bit more of a struggle than the day before. Sort of really looking forward to you know, the day come where I can sort of shave it all off. I've had a few requests or suggestions of what to use when I do shave it off. I've got a couple of suggestions to use the um, R41. suggestions of using the uh, Parker variant on a high setting. And uh, a couple on the, uh, to use a straight razor. Not made a if you've not made a suggestion yet, then uh, go ahead and do so in the comments below. And I uh, watched Trevi B's uh, birthday show video today. So, hope you had a good one, Trevor. Apply a little lava here to go against the grain. Yeah, super speed for me is a little bit on the aggressive side, so I've got to make sure I, I'm not applying any pressure. I said I got this razor off uh, Man Shave. If you've not checked his channel out, then. Uh, Go ahead and uh, subscribe to his channel. He's trying to get to a thousand subscribers. He's doing a uh, razor giveaway. Very special um, 
with an adjustable and a fat boy. So just take a little bit of the lather out of the brush as I do. Just to take down the stragglers. There's not a lot there. No shaping going on, it's just uh, taking out the few hairs that are you know, the wrong side of the beard line. Just looking above the uh, camera now. If you're a new subscriber then welcome along, thanks for uh, subscribing. Normally uh, YouTube give me a notification of who has subscribed but uh, there's nothing sort of come up. What I'd have to do is go through the, uh, you know, the actual list of subscribers. Normally it comes up in the alerts. You know, if somebody's brought out a new video or something, then the uh, new subscriber names are included in that. <clears throat> I was thinking last night at work, you know, the day I come to uh, shave all this off, is there a particular style, you know, before I actually shave the whole lot off, is there any, you know, do you want me to shave everything off apart from the goatee, do you want me to see me in a goatee, do you want to just see me with mutton chops, uh, just a, a goatee down here, just a, a long Moustache, if you want to put a suggestion down the bottom, then uh, what I'll do is again pick one out of a hat and uh, do that. Yep, nice and tidy again. There isn't much left in the brush. Again, there's still a little bit of water, you see that? Now we did wring it out at the start. Now when you lather on your whole face, then you can uh, Create a better lather, but or even lather in your shaving bowl. But uh, when you're just sort of creating a lather just in a small area here, it's not easy. Right, I'll just pause here, wash my face, and uh, get some clean water, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back for the post shave. 
We go straight into the, uh, the aftershave and then we'll go for the stars of the shave. Good uh, restrictor on these bottles. Inexpensive aftershave, I think that's about 750 the last time I looked. Nice uh, dose of alcohol in there. Always get a sort of sting from it. Doesn't last very long. The sting that is. It's got a nice screw lid on top there. So the stars of the shave was the uh, Gillette Super Speed. Let's see what the date was. Is if it's on here. I can't see no date on these ones. On this one. The uh, blade was the Gillette Nasset stainless. The brush was the Samogonus Club. It's the cherry wood handle with the two band finest knot. Uh, Shaven cream was the St. James, that's a cedar wooden clarissage, sort of a woody, herby scent. I'm just going to apply a bit of the Nivea Men balm. This one doesn't have a, so you've got to plug it up with your finger. It's going to control the flow. So it's got um, witch hazel in this one, so you don't need to apply witch hazel and then apply this sort of a two in one. And just apply a little bit of the Bart's Balm beard oil. squirts today. Massage it in. What do you think about it so far then? So if you've not put a suggestion down yet for uh, what I should use, raisin brush, if there's a soap you, you've seen that you want me to use, and I'm going to stick all the suggestions in a hat and then uh, pull one out. I'll add the names as well, so if I pull yours out then I'll give you a shout out. of uh, suggestions for me to use the new Masetto uh, beehive brush I got a week or so ago. Got a good massage and you know, make sure all the hairs are covered. We've got a nice coating. And that do. So yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for your likes, thanks for your comments. Uh, any questions leave them in the comments box below or we'll send an email to the Suffolk Shaver at gmail.com. If you're not subscribed so uh, subscribed yet then uh, please do so if you like what you see and uh, click on the uh, bell icon for notifications for future videos. Have some great shaves, have a nice week and uh, yeah, see you later in the week for another shave video. Cheers, bye.